Welcome to another edition of Ask Jim Smith. Our first question today comes from Susan in Catonsville. Susan wants to know how her community can get involved in a stream cleanup uh, in the Catonsville area. Uh, Susan, I really appreciate your question. It's great when the community responds uh, with an understanding of how important they are to uh, our overall quality of life, quite frankly. Uh, stream cleanups are run through the uh, Department of uh, Environmental Protection and Resource Management in Baltimore County. Uh, you can call um, uh, S Steve uh, Stewart, Steve Stewart of Watershed Management at 410-887-5683, 5683. Uh, and he can help uh, you uh, coordinate that. And I look forward to the results of your stream cleanup and really do appreciate uh, your, uh, your interest uh, and, and the commitment of your community. Our second question comes from Patricia in Randallstown. Patricia wants to know why Baltimore County doesn't do bulk, uh, bulk trash pickup. Patricia, we haven't done bulk, bulk trash pickup for, for a while. It's just really not cost effective. And in these tough economic times, uh, it would really be impossible to initiate that uh, at, really at this time. In fact, you may have noticed that, that even in Baltimore City, as part of their cutbacks, they have cut out bulk trash pickup. But you can obviously get bulk trash pickup. You can go to your yellow pages and look under uh, uh, trash pickup. Uh, and, and frankly, there's so many telephone directories. You might want to go to the web and just do a search on the web for, for, uh, for trash, for hauling, uh, for trash pickup, uh, th those kinds of uh, headings. I think you'll probably get better information more quickly. Um, I'm sorry we can't do that uh, for you, but uh, it is available to you, and I really do thank you for your question. Our final question this week comes from Lou in Perry Hall. Lou is concerned about the, uh, the county's budget situation and the job security of his wife. Uh, Lou, uh, these are tough economic times, but thanks to a lot of really hard work on the part of the county and a lot of responsible uh, uh, thinking and approach uh, for, uh, from the labor leaders in Baltimore County, we really have made great strides in, in, in really securing uh, not only uh, the job security, but also the pension and post-retirement benefits for county employees. Uh, the budget that uh, just is announced uh, for next year uh, provides for uh, no layoffs and no furloughs for county employees. And frankly, these are two-year agreements, so it also provides for, for that to continue not only in fiscal year 11, but also in fiscal year 12. And this is the result of, uh, of doing a lot of things over a long period of time, uh, doing, doing them well, managing with uh, real fiscal responsibility, and with a lot of cooperation of everybody involved in the process. So. Uh, uh, we, these are tough times, but we are going to get through them, and we're going to get through them uh, at least for the next two years with no layoffs or furloughs of county employees. Again, thank you for your question, and this concludes another edition of Ask Jim Smith.